uh, web sorry so as of now we did for the web http html protocol right in the web http html so we have the one more option also will be there in the recording option right uh, so already in recording time i explained right you need to select for the in the recording you have the html mode url mode be there. so html mode means you want to only record user actions means you can select it html mode you want to select for the user actions along with the server side resource also means you need to record the url mode as same to when we can switch from the html to url means already I explained like we have the amazon application flipkart application will be there so the home page like every page is a keep on changing because the product will be changed their offers will be changed so they will every time the pages will be changed so maybe you can record for the html based you are unable to do the script properly so that is why you need to record the url based name. so if it is our jsp pages anything is a keep on changing you need to go with the switch from the Hello, everyone able to hear? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I think some network issues disconnected. Okay. So now, so this is the, see, maybe you are, you can try this mode also. We can record for the web to URL or in page store URL. And you can try to record using URL mode and you can click on the web custom request and click on OK and you can record. And after record, you need to observe the like it is generated for the web URL and your web custom request. So in that uh, web custom request, we have the anything like uh, uh, any correlation values will be there, not there. You are able to check as any dynamic values. So at that time, you can go with these two ways. So now everyone is clear, right? Web HTTP HTML enter protocol. Now we can switch from the web service protocol. So I'm creating for the new script, click on new script and solution. And here, every time we are selecting web HTTP HTML protocol, this time we can select for the web service testing. Actually, why we are doing for the web service testing? Actually, what is the use of web service testing means? Web service testing nothing but it's a cross applications like one application only they will develop with the multiple languages like Java or .NET or SAP or some different different application will be involved. So that kind of application we can do for the front end it's not possible. So that is why we need to do for the web service testing means using for the some uh, URL or visual file we can call it as a visual file. What is the visual WSDL? What is the visual file means web service description language. Using that, we can do for the web service testing. So in load runner, we have the directly web services one protocol will be there. You want to uh, like do for the scripting means you can select for the web services. In that, you can give for the web services, uh, you can give for the script name. Like I'm going, doing for the calculator. Calculator. Later is my script, and I'm giving for the date. Okay. Uh, so now it is open. This actually every time we are recording, but this time what we need to do is see we need to for the first will be visual file. So for example, this is the our visual file. So this is the url of our visual file this is the calculator enter program actually so using this file we need to what things we can do means using the calculator we can do for the addition multiplication division we can do so thus all methods we need to do for the scripting here so how do we can do the scripting means we need to go to the soa tool so once you can in, uh, like we went uh, for the web service testing only you are able to see the soa tool so you can select for the web html html you are unable to see the soa tool so you need to click on soa tool and click on manage services you need to click on manage services for here 
you need to click on import and here we need to give for the url of this so this is the url of the calculator web service testing visual file so you can click on control v this is the place http www.dneonline.com calculator xms visual wsdl visual nothing but we, okay web service description language we are selecting for the url and after that you can click on import button someone please mute okay click on import button you can click for the import button once you can click on the import button in the calculator what are the operations will be there we are able to see here you can click on uh, operations you can see the operations like addition division multiplication subtraction will be there so you can observe description we can see the which is the is the file and what is the from original date and we can we need to measure thing we need to concentrate for the what are the added for the each and every like addition division multiple subtraction added so after you can import it we are able to see the this like operations after that you can click on apply button and click on ok so now nothing will be came then after add for the in the SVA tool major services we need to add the service call service call nothing but so addition is one service call and after that addition, we have the different different type of API is there. You can click on this. So now you can observe this is the service is the calculator and that uh, we can see the this is the calculator soap and this is the addition. Maybe if you want miss, you can select for the division means you can select a division. If you want, so these are all methods we have. So what are the we have methods? Addition, division, multiplication, subtraction. So maybe you are doing for the addition, then you can click on the addition. And after that, you can see in input arguments, you can click on in TA and include argument all. Then you need to give for the value. So we need to do for the addition means we need for the two values, A value, B value, right? Then only we can add. So that is why you need to give for the A value will be 20 and B value we are giving for the, again, you can click on include all the arguments and you can give for the b value will be uh, 30 and after that we need to output argument so you want to for the see the output in the output window means this is also important you can click on this and select for the save return value so for here you need to give for the your name as per your name is also you can give by default it is showing pair up underscore result so see a plus b means how much it will come 50. This results will be to share, share the add results is equal 50 in the output window. You can see. Now, once you can select for the method and once you can enter for the uh, like values, you can click on OK. Then it is generated for the web service call here. You can click on OK. See web service. So, see everything is came. Web service call step name addition you are doing so in that method calculator in the response param is response and service is a calculator expected response time will be soap results and as you can observe into a 20 into b 20 add results is equal we are saving the param add results so this code will be generated so you want to calculate this code also how much time it's taking to add this method means you need to give for the start transaction and transaction also calculator underscore you are doing for the addition right you can give for the add otherwise if you want full name you can give for the addition also okay then you can give for the end transaction also here click on end transaction and give it as a this okay now now you can observe here uh, everything is uh, done right now we are done maybe you want to every time will be different value you need to give for the input means we, we need to do for the parameterization you can select this and you can do for the file type or any type file type you can select and you need to enter for the data if you want for the 20 30 next time data you want to pick means you can do for the parameterization 
and now without parameterization now we can execute first okay this is the save button i save okay and after that you can click on replay button see it is executing see it is execution is completed now we can check the everything in the window you can observe here we don't get any results is equal to because maybe in runtime settings i am not to enable the logs in the parameter substitution yeah see you need to check for the external logs in the para substitution now we'll execute so, so now you can observe see saving parameter add response and uh, you can observe param add results is equal 50. It is successfully completed. You can observe uh, transaction calculated addition ended with the past status and duration is took for the 1.0395 second. So if you want to miss, you can see for the uh, replay summary also, we can see the, I think already we are in replay summary. You can see the transaction response time here also. This particular addition, how much time is taken? See, one minute, 40. So, means we need to do for the web service testing like this. Same script also you want to add for the addition, multiplication, division, subtraction, means you can do here also. In the action place, you can give for the replace with the rename. You can rename it. Is, this is the addition, right? You can give for the add. And after that, you can done for the addition is completed, right? Now we need to do for the one more thing. What is that? You can add for the one more action, create new action. And I'm doing for the multiplication. Click on, okay. Now you need to add for the multiplication. So again, go to the SVA tool and don't we need to go to the add service call click on add service call then your operation means method you need to select for the multiply and if you want to give for the input means you can give for the inputs you can select this include all arguments and you can give for the uh, 20 is the int value and b value means we need to addition or multiplication division anything we can do means we need for the are uh, two right so that is why we are giving for the two values 20 into 3 and i want to save the results in this so that is why i'm selecting save results and click on okay see it is generated this then you can give for the transaction name start transaction and uh, give it as a multiplication Proper, you can give. Okay, same transaction we need to give for the end transaction. Because this transaction, how much time response time means you need to know for this particular uh, multiplication, how much time it's getting, you need to know means you need to give for the start transaction, end transaction. Now we'll execute again. So now you can observe, see, first is executed for the, this one, you can observe, first will be executed, add results, and after that, we did for the ending add, and after that, starting multiplication, you can observe 20 into 360, you got there. So like this, we can do for the web service testing. If you want to do for the web service testing, you can do for the, this is the way you can do. So again, you want to add one more thing, subtraction also, you can do for this is the way. Now we can do for the, how to, we can, uh, we can do for the parameterization, how to, we can input, we can put it, we can, now we can. So just I am doing for the parameterization. Replace with the parameter and create a new parameter. And uh, we are giving for the A value. And this is the file type only. You can select this and click on create table and click on OK. 
then if you want for the more data you can click on this and enter for the 30 40 50 and 60 and save it and after that by name you can select for the a so if this is the depends on uh, your requirement you can select anything is fine okay and click on okay and uh yes fine next it is so now now you can observe this is the done then now we can do for the B also you can do for the parameterization. Same way you can do replace with parameter, create new parameter, and give it as a B. And the parameter name, properties, and create table and give the data. Save it and close and click on by name you can select for the b dot file when you select b dot file click on plus and click on okay and if you want to replace you can click on this otherwise no need and this so like this we did this and if you want to this means so already we did this and you can do this also replace it parameter and create new parameter and the parameter name i'm giving into b properties and add okay edit with notepad and you can give for the four five two and one control s and select for the into b click on close click on okay and click on now so now i want to given data for both right and then i want to execute for some multiple user means you can go to the runtime settings in the runtime settings you can go to the run logic and will give for the five iteration now we can execute means you are need to execute the how many times you are executing a hundred times means you need it for the hundred data if you are doing for the uh, 50 user 50 means you need for the 50 user data in the controller see now you can observe here your test is completed and you are able to see the all transactions see it starting iteration is the 50 and multiplication 20 into 3 60 see 60 and after that again it started second iteration second iteration 30 plus 25 is a 55 and after that multiplication 3 into 4 is a 120 and after the third iteration you can observe so means like that it will be we can do for this web service testing so web service testing is a very easy only okay the thing is very what we need means test to data is important and we need to ask for the visual file for the our teammates like you need to ask for the visual file like which you uh, like i told right in the sy tool before that we are giving for the click on import so this file we need to ask for the our team members or our uh, client we need to ask so what is the this web service call url so you need to ask that and you need to do for the this is the way we can do for the web service testing so after this completed you can push this script into the controller okay so for example that is also we can do we have time right so we'll open controller so web service testing anyone any doubt regarding this before going to the execution in the scripting part so no need to do further any correlation these things only you can do for the parameterization only You can go to the replace summary 
can observe how many transactions you are added those transactions response time you are able to see here calculator addition calculator multiplication five times is the average this is the average of the five users okay this is also you need to check for the we are meeting sla or not we need to check that is the web service testing everyone got it this controller open now so once we can open the controller we need to select for the manual scenario only we no need to select percentage mode and now you need to select for the our script this is the our script you can click on this and click on okay So we are fully com completed for the load runner. Tomorrow or Monday onwards, we'll start for the J meter. I will give an update in our group. Meanwhile, on Sunday, I'm thinking to conduct for the system test. I will give for the everyone one URL, and you guys will be complete for the entire scenario. You need to record the script and do for the scripting like collation, parameterization, and as simply execute with the fifty users and share the results. Fifty users. I am giving for the every ten users will be ramp up zero point zero five seconds only, and the duration I am giving three minutes, and ramp down I am giving same like that ten zero five. Click on. Okay. See, design is completed. Now. We'll go to the run and click on start scenario. So before that starting, you want to for the like do for this uh, means you can go to the performance monitor and you can do for that and you can do it. Otherwise, we can for our now just to our understanding point of right, we can do for the task manager. So you can go to the performance. Now you can observe CPU already seventy one sixty eight percent is there, and uh, this memory already is uh, more than eighty five percent. So that's fine. Okay. Then we start our test. See, test will be started. So pending, you can observe elapsed time is started. Elapsed time, nothing but once you can click on start. It is counted as a one second onwards. Means test to duration, end duration, how much time it's taking, and it will be how many hits and pause transaction, fail transactions. If you are getting any errors, so you can observe. So very fast it is going to the hits. So going to that uh, like uh, in. Web application, right? You can observe pass transaction will be count will be more you are getting. So you can observe, and during the test also you should monitor for the transaction response time. See, this is the average only. We can see for the zero point two zero like that only you are saving means your response time will be good for the calculate multiplication and addition zero point five five zero for the now fifty users will be running. how the it's increasing how the throughput is increasing and running users means users see ramp up is completed up to this and now everything user will be doing for the their transactions see you can observe number of pass transaction we are getting more
So you can observe our pass transaction. We don't have any errors because here we don't have any uh, like correlation values and everything. Nothing will be there. So you didn't getting for the anything. Your test will be is executing. So you can observe how much time executed your test. You can observe here duration three minutes and every ten users will be five seconds. Will be ramp up means total. Will be uh, fifty, right? Five into five, twenty-five, twenty-five. Fifty plus means three minutes, fifty seconds. Your test will be finished. So during that test, you should monitor CPU memory also. Now you can go to the CPU and memory. You can observe it is a memory. It is a almost is a less than fifty is there um, CPU, but memory is eighty two percent is. So means by default only more than eighty is there. So that is why don't worry for this point of view. But in real time, you need to check with the before doing the test is a memory will be how much it will be occupied. It is a Thirty percent will be there, forty percent will be there. If it is there more than eighty, don't do further testing. So you need to check with the team. By default only memory it is a seventy-five percent will be there. Could you please increase or you can check with the your J settings for the JVM settings. See stopped all users. Your test is completed. Three minutes forty-two seconds. Now you want to analyze the results, miss. You can click on the results and click on the analyze results. So you should wait for the until complete for results will be load. You should wait for until that. So you should wait for the until hundred percent is. See now eighty percent is results will be loaded. See now, test will be completed. You can observe for the transactions. See, you can observe. Uh, we want only two transactions. We have calculate addition and calculate multiplication. You can observe. Fifty is the average response time is took for the only zero point five five one milliseconds. Zero point two eight one means your test will be good because you can observe how many total it is happen. Okay, now we can go to the total. Will be can observe how many transactions passed. We can observe. So we can go to the transactions. We can observe. So this many happen. Eleven thousand eight not one times it is executed. We can observe. So means this much of users fifty users will be executed eleven thousand nine eight one times executed. So means 
your test will be good, then you can send this report to the client. So you can report, uh, generate report and you can send. So this is the end-to-end -end testing for the web service testing. Anyone any doubt regarding today class? Hello? Thank you for joining everyone. Uh, we'll meet tomorrow also same time. Uh, otherwise, I will confirm the class timings tomorrow because I am giving for the tomorrow will be a uh, holiday for you guys and everyone will be do for the system testing in the Sunday. I will tell you Sunday what time. Okay, everyone prepare well and uh, everyone can do for the two scripts. One is the web service testing and one is for the like web, web HTML and to end testing. I want for the end to end test results with the performance monitor results also. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, thank you for joining.